Hello everyone and welcome to part two of our presentation about our father. And before we continue into a deeper level of the reflection on Lord's Prayer, I wanted to ask you if you will be familiar with this tune. I think you are. I think many of you are very familiar with it. Maybe not necessarily children, but I think your mom and dad even danced to that song in the 70s and 80s of disco era, because you're right, this is a dancing queen by ABBA, Swedish disco band. But father, what disco ABBA has to do with our father presentation? Be patient with me. When we write it down, ABBA, the name of that band, what do you think it means in Swedish? Swedish meatballs? No, oh, nothing, absolutely nothing. But when we add to it a little bit of different language, different alphabet, this time the alphabet of Jesus, language of Jesus, that is written differently than ours, and when we write the same words in the language of Jesus, A, B, and the dot indicates double B, 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 A, Abba. That's how Jesus describes God, Father. Those first two letters in Jesus' own language, A and B, Av, Ab, means Father. Abba, our Father, Abuni. Avunda Bishmair, our Father who art in heaven. Wait a minute. What would Italians say about this? Abba, Swedish band, Jesus is Abuni, Mamma Mia, I guess. But that's the thing, my friends. We need to brush off a little bit of the language of Jesus to understand why God does not use in the descriptions of the Old Testament by Jesus. His name is not El Shaddai, El Elyon, Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus does not, does not use those names for God. He says this, A, B, A, Father. Do you recall from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke when Jesus teaches us how to pray, what he says, when you are to pray, go to your inner room, lock your door, and say, Avunda Bishmaya Netkedeshamak Tietemalkuta, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. And now, Maybe I can crawl underneath or maybe go around the board. That's, that's better. Because I believe, my friends, that to understand why when Lord is pressed, Jesus is pressed by his apostles to teach us to pray, he says, pray this way, our Father. Because what you see, again, on those presentations behind me, on those slides behind me, Silver star on the top of Grotto of Nativity in Bethlehem when Jesus was born. But also the other slide is the Christ candle in Jesus' sepulchre tomb in the Holy Sepulchre Church in Jerusalem. The light of the world. Christ is the light 
of the world. I strongly believe in my heart that it was Jesus' mission to be born and to die for us. But that's just the beginning of the odyssey, of the story. Resurrection is the promise, incentive, our joy and our hope that where Jesus had gone, we all will follow. And to explore on a little bit deeper level the seven beautiful petitions in the prayer of our Father, I invite you to part three of our presentation.